Thanks, Brandon. Hey, everyone. I'm Sid Gandhi, and I'm the technical strategy lead for simulation at Cruise. So the first thing people usually ask me about autonomous vehicles is, how do I know it's safe? And you might be thinking that too. Well, for Cruise, safety is, of course, a priority. And it's deeply connected to the scalability of our business. Because it's not just enough to prove that a tricky simulation can be driven safely. We have to prove to ourselves, to our customers, and to all of our stakeholders that we can scale that safety to all the crazy things that happen on our city streets. Simulation is just one of the ways we make this happen, and I'm super excited to show you how. As we work on solving the long tail, we'll rely less and less on real-world testing. Because when you have an event that happens rarely, it takes thousands of road miles to test it properly. And it's just not scalable. So we're developing technology to scalably explore large-scale parameter spaces to generate test scenarios. We call this system Morpheus. And in this video, we're using Morpheus to look for specific places on the map where we want to start our simulation. So first, we'll ask the system for a left turn and put the AV 15 meters before the turn. Then we add a constraint asking for a straight road intersecting the turn. And we can actually continue adding as many parameters as we want and then generate thousands of scenarios based on real map locations. It's incredible how quickly we can build a large and diverse test suite matching a very specific situation. OK, so Morpheus gave us a place to start, but how do we fill these scenarios with other cars, people, and the rest of the things that we see on the road? The next step we're going to take is to transform real events into editable simulation scenarios. We call this technology Road to Sim. Road to Sim combines information from perception with heuristics learned from our millions of real-world miles to recreate a full simulation environment from road data. The example you see here show the original camera feed on the top and a recreated simulation on the bottom. It's pretty cool to see the real world transformed into kind of like a video game. And by the way, this is fully automated. And once we have the simulation, we can actually create permutations of the event and change attributes like vehicle and pedestrian types. It's a super easy and extremely powerful way to build test suites that accelerate AV development. OK, so now that we've added all the parts that make up a simulation, the final step is to breathe life into it. And for that, we've developed a technology to simulate complex multi-agent behaviors driven by AI. We call this system NPC AI. NPC is a video game term, meaning non-player character. You can think of it as all the other cars and pedestrians in a scene other than the AV. NPC AI takes a simulation scenario and adds life to the vehicles, so they react to the AV and each other. Check out this example with two variations of a scenario. On the left, we have a wide street, and on the right, the street is a bit narrower because there's three parked cars. The orange cars are moving in such a realistic way in both scenes, even though we only define their starting positions. So what makes them move? Well, we're actually using deep learned prediction models similar to those that run in our AVs, but to drive these orange cars, and that lets them respond realistically to changing conditions. The result in these scenes is that the order the cars end up taking is different because of the narrower street. So Morpheus, Road to Sim, and NPC AI work together in this really thoughtful way to let us perform more robust testing around rare and difficult events. And it really gives us the confidence that we can solve rare issues now and in the future, similar issues as well. Now let's talk about scaling our business to new cities. When we go to new cities, it starts with a technology we call WorldGen. It's a system that can procedurally generate entire cities. And from their quirky layouts to the smallest details, we can test a new operational design domains more effectively and with a shorter lead time. By combining multiple sources of data, we can build seamless map tiles across large geographic areas, which can immediately be used for large-scale testing. And that's not all. 
The robust WorldGen pipeline also lets us layer custom content on top of the procedurally generated city. This lets us add incremental detail where it matters. Here, we can see the iconic Alamo Square Park in San Francisco being selected in our scenario editor. WorldGen starts with road geometry and paint, then adds sidewalks, curbs, ramps, footprint accurate buildings, street lights, traffic signs, and finally, cars and pedestrians. WorldGen builds this intersection and actually the whole city without any manual work. Then we can incrementally add in details like the park stairs we see here, if we find it valuable. So now we have a living, breathing city ready for simulation. But it, we need to make sure it looks the same to our AV as it does in real world. To do that, we have to visually simulate the real world with extreme accuracy, because it allows us to be more confident in the simulation predicting the AV's performance in the real world. Now, lighting is an area that makes a big difference to simulation accuracy. For example, we use high dynamic range, 360 degree, zero parallax panoramic photography to accurately sample lighting at different times of day and weather conditions. For photometry nerds, we capture up to 30 EVs of dynamic range. We've sampled 24 unique times of day with this approach, like sunset on a winter day or 2 p.m. in autumn as well as nighttime. We've also systematically measured the light from different types of street lamps across San Francisco. Now we put in similar effort to simulate the road geometry for vehicle dynamics in our control simulation. And when we combine a high fidelity environment with a procedurally generated city, that's when we unlock the capability to efficiently scale our business to new cities. So far, we've been talking about visual fidelity. But in order to scale our technology to new platforms like the Origin, we also need to build high fidelity simulations of our other sensors. For example, to simulate the radar in our AVs, we use 20 million rays per second to approximate the radar waveform. And we simulate the Doppler effect, which you see here, as the fast moving vehicle turns pink as it gets closer to us. This GPU-based high-fidelity simulation is built in collaboration with our fantastic radar team in Cruz Munich. This type of simulation is used in large-scale testing, as we previously saw, but it's also useful to experiment with sensor placement on our vehicles before the hardware is even available, and to design calibration environments before investing in physical facilities. Our simulated sensors unlock one more powerful capability for Cruz generating synthetic data for perception ML models. Generating synthetic data lets us target use cases like emergency vehicles really well. Emergency vehicles are rare compared to other types of vehicles, but we need to detect them extremely high accuracy. So we use our data generation pipeline to create millions of simulation images of ambulances, fire trucks, and police cars. The examples you see here actually take this one step further. These are images of partially occluded emergency vehicles, data that's just really hard to get on the road. This approach lets us surgically target areas where we don't have a lot of data. And the data we generate is for multiple sensors, and we can easily regenerate it if we change our sensors or introduce new ones. In our experience, targeted synthetic data is about 180 times faster than collecting road data and millions of dollars cheaper. And with the right mix of synthetic and real data, we can increase relevant data in our data sets by an order of magnitude or more. Now, the last thing I want to touch on is core to how we accelerate AV development across crews. We use simulation to continuously measure our performance on key metrics like safety and comfort, so we know exactly what our AV's capabilities are. And with every new software release, we run hundreds of thousands of simulations to predict performance and protect against regressions. All of this so our customers get the exact experience we want to deliver. Now, if I leave you with one thing today, it's that using these simulation technologies, Cruise will be the first to develop a new AV platform before ever putting it on public roads. Thank you very much, and I truly hope you enjoyed this presentation. And up next, 
is Davide.